Welcome to another episode of the Confident Musician Show. You are tuning into How Do I Stop Thinking Negatively. I am your host, Brett Cusack, aka Megalove, and I'm a musician, songwriter, music educator, and life coach. And at The Confident Musician, we help musicians overcome self-doubt and overwhelm and create more confidence than you ever thought possible so you can make music and make a difference and share your unique talent with the world. If you find something useful, valuable, or interesting in this video, please let us know in the comments Your feedback is super important to us. And if you know somebody else who just can't stop thinking negatively, please flick this video across to them in a DM or tag them in this video. All righty, let's jump into our five pro tips on how to stop thinking negatively. Tip number one is negative thinking is actually there to help you. It's a mindset cue to let you know you need to do something. It's letting you know that you've got an imbalanced perspective that you want life to be only one-sided. Happiness without sadness, success without failure, pleasure without pain. It's actually there to help us. Tip number two is what are all the one-sided fantasies you have playing out? So some examples of those are people will only ever like you, like your music without any criticism, being successful without hard work or failure, never experiencing uh, adversity or setbacks in your career, or you just want life to be only happy without sad, or you just want people to be nice without being mean. Uh, So what are all the one-sided fantasies you have playing out in your world or expectations on the world to be one way without having the other? Tip number three is what are all the downsides of these things playing out? You might be vulnerable because uh, you've had success without failure, which means you haven't had the uh, situations that have actually helped you uh, develop confidence in yourself and develop a, a thick skin. Um, you may be taken advantage of because you have these rose-colored glasses on and you're not seeing all the sharks bobbing around in the world about to take a big bite out of you. Um, You may be confronted with immense criticism. Just if you remember Friday, Friday, Rebecca Black, how much challenge and adversity did she get as a result of that piece of music? And she's now reinvented herself as a songwriter, so check her out. Um, I've been meaning to do that myself. Um, a responsibility that you may have to then continue this level of commitment. So follow any of the people that were very successful, very successful, or successful on any of the talent shows and follow their careers and see how well they are still doing. There are obviously some exceptions to the rule with that. Tip number four is what are the benefits of right now? So you, your life right now is exactly as it needs to be for for you to grow and evolve as a human being. So when you actually start to acknowledge that there are benefits of how your life actually is, you'll actually start to be and feel and think that things and adversity and things that are happening to you along the way are actually part of the journey. They are now on the way instead of in the way. So some benefits might be um, that you have to step out of your comfort zone. Um, You might need to, you know, play the flute in order to learn how to play the flute. You've actually got to get in the arena and actually do the things in order to to, uh, to move the needle forward. Um, and so don't stop answering that question until you're really present and grateful for what you currently have because you're never going to get more life until you're grateful for what it is that you do have. Tip number five is to get a coach or mentor to help guide and inspire you along the journey. Um, and that is why I've created all of my events and trainings that you can get on the link below this video. There are some free events um, like how to write songs that stand out without self-doubt. There is another one called how to master time manage without uh, overwhelm for musicians. There is my latest course, which is called Confidence and Happiness Secrets, which you can get for the cost of less than a packet of strings. Don't know how long that's going to be at that price point for. So click the link below and jump into some of the free and paid events that are on there. All right, let's jump into our five pro tips recap. Tip number one is negative thinking is actually there to help you. It's a mindset cue that you need to actually do something. Um, and it's letting you know that you have an unrealistic expectation that life is only going to be one-sided. Happiness without sadness, success without failure, 
pleasure without pain. So it's actually there to help you. So when you understand that it's actually there to serve you, you're probably more likely to appreciate what's actually happening for you so you can actually do something with it and actually help grow in and evolve in your life. Tip number two is what are all the one-sided fantasies you have playing out? So it could be happiness without sadness, success without failure. Um, some examples I've written in the notes here are people only ever liking your music without any criticism, being successful without all the failure and hard work just research any of your favorite artists and you'll see that they have failed immensely along their journeys, uh, never experiencing any adversity or setbacks in your career. So, and then at tip number three, we want to list what are all the, um, hang on, I've lost my train of thought here. Uh, yes. So we want to list the downsides of those um, playing out. So we want to be, we want to acknowledge that we might be vulnerable as a result of having success without all the confidence building and thick skin creating scenarios uh, we might get taken advantage of. And we want to start to acknowledge the fact that this, if it was that way, the way you wished it was, it would also have some simultaneous downsides. Just emotionally balance yourself out. Tip number four is just to connect with what the benefits are of what your life is currently, you're currently experiencing in your life at the right now. And when you actually start to be acknowledge the downsides of something fantasy that you're playing out in the future and the benefits of what's happening right now. You actually start to get grateful for what your life is actually demonstrating and actually appreciate it and actually start to see the things are on the way instead of in the way, helping you move in the direction of your dreams and goals in reality, not the fantasies that we're playing out. Tip number five is to get a coach or mentor to guide and inspire you along the journey and help speed up the process. Yes, it is going to cost you some money to invest in a coach. Um, but you can always make more money. You cannot make more time. So, so many of my clients tell me, Brett, I wish I did this sooner. So, if you're the right person that thinks that I might be the right um, fit or <laughs> might be the right person for you to work with, um, please book a 15 minute QA with me on the link in the description for this video. And we can have a chat about where you would love to go, what your current situation is, uh, what the problems are that you're facing. We can actually start to create a bit of a plan. And if I think we're going to be the right fit to work together, I will present you with an offer. And if you like that idea, you can take me up on it. If not, that is also cool. If you found something unique, valuable, interesting in this video, please let us know in the comments. Your feedback is super important to me. And if you know somebody else who's always thinking negatively, like, oh my Lord, life is so hard, <laughs> please tag them in this video video with love or send it to them in a DM if you think that's more appropriate for them as a human being um, because I would love to help them in some way if I can. I hope you've loved this video. Until next time, make music, make a difference, and I will see you on the next one. Catch you later. Bye bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.